Well, hey guys. I have my fan on really high and my tree is billowing and dancing in the moonlight back there. So yeah. Um, anyways, as you can tell, today I'm gonna share with you my top five products for anti-aging on the backs of your hands. I get a lot of questions. What can be done to improve sunspots on the backs of the hands? As we get older, we start to lose collagen from our skin. That presents as wrinkles and fine lines. The skin there is thinner, it's more prone to bruising, and it just doesn't look as radiant as it once did. The products I'm gonna share with you guys in today's video are pretty cost effective. You can find them at your local drugstore. A really basic product that can not only improve the appearance of the backs of your hands and your hands overall, but also your nails, is going to be a hand cream that has either alpha hydroxy acid or urea in it, or a combination of the two ingredients. These ingredients are really great for the health of your nails. If you suffer from brittle nails, a lot of ridging on the nails, alpha hydroxy acid and urea and hand creams are going to be your best friend. They can really help hydrate the nail plate in a way that strengthens it and improves the appearance of nails, makes them look more lustrous. Both urea and alpha hydroxy acids are gonna help your skin as well. They are humectants, they help hold water into the skin, which will plump up the skin cells and smooth out the surface, improving the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Alpha hydroxy acids also can lightly exfoliate the top layer of the skin, removing some sun damaged skin cells and removing some of those rough bumpy patches that you might be suffering from uh, as part of photo aging of the hands. Both urea and alpha hydroxy acids in moisturizing products can help in terms of boosting your skin's natural moisturizing factors. One of my favorite products that addresses this is a hand cream by Eustrin. Their Advanced Repair Hand Cream has both urea as well as alpha hydroxy acid. Specifically, it has the alpha hydroxy acid lactic acid, and it just helps keep the nails bright, lustrous, smooth. It will help soften rough, bumpy cuticles. And of course, it will improve the look of not only the backs of the hands, but the palms as well. I like putting it on personally at nighttime before I go to bed and to really amp up its efficacy. I like to put it on underneath some cotton gloves. You can also get these little plastic gloves that they use uh, and food handling and do the same thing. Put the, put the hand cream on and then cover your hands with either the cotton gloves or the plastic gloves and hang out there and just do a little hand mask. It will really drive that hydration into, into, the, into the skin and amp up the efficacy of the moisturizer. So that's gonna help uh, brighten up the hands, improve skin smoothness, and just using that alone will, will get you pretty far. But moving down to product number two, let's not ignore the obvious, that is sun protection. The majority of skin aging has to do with ultraviolet radiation, and the backs of the hands are a prime target, especially with driving. And for whatever reason, it's really easy to forget to put sunscreen on the backs of your hands. A little tip for you guys actually is when you're putting sunscreen on your face, instead of plopping it out on the palm of your hand, plop it out on the back of your hand. That way you end up getting some on your hand. It clues you into, oh yeah, I need to rub this into my hands as well. So that's just a little tip to make use of the sunscreen that you already have. But, um, Eustrin makes a fantastic hand cream that has SPF in it, the Daily Hydration SPF 30. The reason I love this product so much is not only is it a great hand cream at baseline, it has, of course, sun protection in it, which will help in not only preventing photo aging, but if you have sunspots on the back of your hands that you're trying to improve the appearance of, sun protection is gonna be instrumental in that journey. Those won't get better uh, without it. So, so that's a key ingredient. The other reason that I like this product is that it has licorice root in it, licorice root extract. Licorice root is anti-inflammatory and it's an antioxidant. So it's it, it theoretically can scavenge free radicals that contribute to, to photo aging. But licorice root also can inhibit some of the abnormal processes that lead to hyperpigmentation. So in other words, using licorice root can help in brightening up uneven pigment on the backs of the hands. So it's a fantastic 
moisturizer to use during the day with sunscreen in it on your hands. The third product though is not a cream or anything. It's sun protective driving gloves. I can't live without these. Um, they are by Coolie Bar. They, I have the ones with the little tech tips on the fingers so that you can you can like open your phone and, and whatnot. They also have little grippies. I think they're actually designed for people who play golf, but whatever. Wear these bad boys whenever you are in the car at the very least to protect the backs of your hands. Anytime I get in my car, this is the first thing I put, I put this on right away. Um, and then I put my seatbelt on, which is, uh, you know, you're conditioned to put your seatbelt on, but I've conditioned myself to put these on as well as my seatbelt. I <laughs> always give a plug for this, but it's evidence-based, and that's gonna be Adapalene. This is the La Roche-Posay Adapalene, 0.1% that I have here, but you guys, CVS, as I've mentioned in other videos recently, CVS has come out with the generic version of Adapalene, same exact ingredients, but a lot less expensive, so definitely get that if you live in an area with CVS, or I think it's Rite Aid and other other parts of the country. Anyways, yeah, Adapalene is a third generation retinoid. Uh, so it's slightly different than tretinoin, but it uh, has many of the same outcomes in terms of removing sun damaged skin cells. And it's actually been shown when you apply Adapalene twice daily for, at least in the studies, to substantially improve the appearance of solar lenticos, AKA sunspots. So if you've got sunspots on the back of your hands that you wanna, brighten up <clears throat> and get rid of, excuse me, go with Adapalene. So to use this, I recommend just applying a pea-sized amount to the back of the entire hand of each hand. And you can use it at nighttime, um, but actually in the studies, they applied it twice a day. Adapalene is technically photostable. So, you know, a lot of the issue as a side note that we always point out with Topical vitamin A is uh, it's sensitive to light and will degrade in light. That's why we tell you to use it at nighttime. Adapalene actually is stable in the presence of light. And in the studies looking at photo aging, they actually used it twice a day. So just plop a pea-sized amount on the backs of the hands twice a day, and you will find this can offer you some benefit in terms of improving those sunspots. Also, if you have, if you have a lot of photo aging on the back of the hands that presents with rough spots. Those rough spots sometimes can be the beginnings of pre-skin cancers. They're called actinic keratoses. They're very common on the backs of the hands. And in that study, it actually showed that adapalene did in fact improve those as well. So it's a good ingredient, not only from a cosmetic perspective, but from a from a skin health perspective, in that it's removing some of those early sun damaged skin cells that could then go on to form skin cancer. A little bit more though about the details of using this. I mentioned earlier how much I love the Eucerin hand cream with alpha hydroxy acid, AKA lactic acid. And you may be wondering, is it okay to use that with this? You know, I typically say be careful doing that because it can cause a lot of irritation that can lead to problems. And I'm telling you guys that usually in the context of using it for acne, but on the backs of the hands, that's less likely. And so it's fine to do that. So for example, if you want to use the, the Eucerin hand cream at nighttime and apply this along with it, you certainly can do that. And then the Eucerin, the Eucerin daily hydration with SPF is an essential during the day. And you definitely can layer this on, on top of the Adapalene that you apply in the morning. The fifth and final product that I want to bring to your attention because I think it it goes unnoticed is the La Roche-Posay Melody Pigment Pigment Control Serum. It's not cheap. And what is this? Well, it is L'Oreal's proprietary LHA. LHA is a modified version of salicylic acid and it's modified so that it helps to exfoliate the skin more precisely and in doing so it helps lift up some of that superficial hyperpigmentation that can cause a lot of discoloration uh, of the skin which you see on the backs of the hands with photo aging so it has that it also has kojic acid an ingredient that is both a skin brightening ingredient so it can help 
in inhibiting some of tyrosinase activity. That's that enzyme that makes pigment and can be abnormal in areas of dispigmentation. And kojic acid is an antioxidant, so it can scavenge free radicals that lead to, to damage. You really don't need very much of it at all. You just need, for the backs of the hands, one drop to each hand, so it will last you a really long time. And it's the kind of thing that you don't necessarily need to feel like you have to use for the rest of your life. But if you have the goal of improving some existing hyperpigmentation, you definitely can get it to a better place using this applied to the hands uh, for a period of four weeks. You will see a benefit after about four weeks. Beyond that, it's kind of up to you if you want to keep going with it. If you choose to stop, so long as you continue to use sun protection, including wearing the driving gloves, you can maintain a lot of that improvement without necessarily needing to continue to use it. Um, um, but if some of those spots come back, you might wanna come back to it. So it's the kind of product that you can use for a limited window of time if you want to, or you can definitely use it indefinitely if, if you want. It doesn't, it's not like uh, hydroquinone, the other skin brightener that I talk a lot about, hydroquinone can only be used for a limited amount of time. It can be very irritating and uh, there are some concerns with using it long term, so it's not advised to use it indefinitely. However, kojic acid is a nice alternative to hydroquinone and can be used as long as you want. If you start seeing benefit and you're happy with where you get with it, so long as you keep up with sun protection, you don't necessarily need to use it indefinitely you can definitely like you know put it on the back burner save your money for something else you can use it on other areas of the body that have hyperpigmentation once you get to where you want to say for example on your hands maybe you have some hyperpigmentation on your chest or maybe on your face related to healing acne uh, so you can kind of you know incorporate it in your skincare routine for as long as you want this product has alcohol denaturant in it. Not a demon ingredient. Alcohol denaturant is added to stabilize active ingredients. While it's not a demon ingredient, it definitely can be drying. But so long as you're using a good hand cream like the Eucerin one that I mentioned, that really shouldn't be an issue. Now, with this product, I will point this out to you guys. La Roche-Posay on the <clears throat> instructions tells you to use it twice a day. And honestly, you're probably gonna get results with it, using it twice a day much faster. But if you wanna combine this with, with Adapalene, the other ingredient that I mentioned, you certainly can, but because the salicylic acid or the modified salicylic acid in this can actually potentially compromise the stability of the adapalene, you don't want to apply them at the same time in your routine. So in that case, if you wanna use this and adapalene, you would use adapalene at night and you would use this in the morning. Um, and then follow up in the morning with sunscreen, of course. You can build your skincare routine around your hands uh, to use adapalene at nighttime indefinitely and the La Roche-Posay product indefinitely in the morning, or you can use the La Roche-Posay product for as long as you want, you see results with it, and then maybe you decide that you want to go to twice daily adapalene. I mean, switching between the two products, bailing on one, it's not likely to change things drastically. It's kind of up to you with where you want to invest your time and resources. So. The number one thing that I can advise you guys on is to be really aggressive with the sun protection. That will get that alone, just doing the gloves, the, the sun protective gloves and sunscreen in the day, it will get you pretty far actually, just by itself. In terms of improving the look of hyperpigmentation, using the hand cream with urea is another great way that you can see drastic results. So I would say start there if you are motivated to improve the appearance of your hands, but you know maybe this is overwhelming. Start with the sun protection piece and the urea hand cream and take photos before you start and after four to six weeks of doing that, see how far you've gotten. And if you're happy with where you are with just that, great, you know, keep doing that. But if you want to take it to another level, then maybe consider adding Adapalene or, and or the La Roche-Posay product uh, to see if you can't get even further in terms of improving, improving the dark spots. I think that is a good way to build on 
these products. The number one thing though, is to keep up with the sun protection regardless of what, what you do. Um, and regardless of what your concerns are, like if you could care less about the appearance of your hands, great, but you should still do sun protection because you don't want to get a skin cancer on the back of your hands. Uh, that would not be good beyond just cosmetic reasons. Uh, it's not something that you want to deal with, obviously. So I hope these products and tips and suggestions were helpful to you guys as far as things that you can do to improve the look of hyperpigmentation and photo aging on the backs of the hands. I do have a video on my top five hand creams just for the purposes of dry hands um, and a video talking about tips for dry hands related to all the hand washing that we're doing. I'll link those videos down below for you guys if you wanna go on a hand care kick um, that I definitely can do for you guys. Um, but I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe! I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!